So every season I look forward to those baking shows. You know the ones where it's like, what are you gonna make out of this? Could you do that? Can you make a croaking bush? Can you do all the stuff? Child, did you ever know some of the contestants are dating each other or some of them hate each other? Or some of them have issues and they're like misgendering people? Mm. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. the Nanyo and we are talking all about food challenges, cooking, baking, and the personalities of the people behind the characters on the show. All right. So today we're talking about the book Love and Other Disasters. The author of the book is Anita Kelly. The theme of the book is romance literature and the genre of the book is contemporary romance. Okay. Y'all, I gotta say, I gotta say, I don't like the title. I'm sorry, Anita. It should have been like baking and other disasters or like love and, and burnt ends or something because I picked it up based off the cover. You know, I love a good cover. I'm like, okay, you got him, you got her, you got, oh, this is great, look at her big hair. Well, this was my first non-binary love story, okay? This is London and this is Dahlia and they are non-binary. And so you're reading the book and you're seeing Dahlia's perspective and you're seeing London's perspective. And London is like, oh my goodness, the thick hair and this and that and look at Dahlia. And then Dahlia's like, okay, they're cute, but like, I just wanna win the money on the show. <laughs> Dahlia's not thinking about it, whatever. London is completely infatuated. They are, they look forward to seeing Dahlia every day. And then there's this really cute part in the book where they go and they crash this wedding and you get to see a lot of the vulnerability of both of the characters. But like, I'm reading it and I'm like, love is so beautiful. <laughs> they're flirting, they're cute, they're dating. And I'm like, this is everything that I would read in a book with heterosexual characters. But in this book, you have a non-binary character and you have a queer character, which is the way that Dahlia describes herself. And and so fascinating, absolutely fascinating. But my favorite part is they met on a cooking show. Okay, like your typical open the basket, what's inside, what are you gonna make cooking show. And I never thought of them hooking up outside when the cameras are off. I was like, wait, now I gotta rewatch these shows. Do they got chemistry? Hold on, who's going? Right? And so there's parts in the book which are really, really, really obvious, right? There's a scene where Dahlia is feeding London from a spoon and then London's like, crap, 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 I should not have eaten that from the spoon. You know, when they're out milking cows and they're just, their chemistry is just so electric and you're reading the book and I'm like, oh, they're so cute. London and Dahlia forever. <laughs> And the book was amazing. I don't know if there are a lot of books with non-binary love connections, but this one was phenomenal. And what I love the most about it is that London has this conversation with their dad where they say, when you are misgendering me, you are not accepting me for who I am. And so I know this sounds like a lot, right? Love story and the cooking and them dating and then this, but they're, their life is a lot. London deals with a lot of things, right? London may look androgynous to some people, but they, they is their pronoun, okay? And if you deliberately and consistently continue to refer to me as a woman, continue to say she or her, you are misgendering me. And it is intentional. It is not you saw me and you just, you're a grocery store clerk. Oh, here, ma'am, do you want this? You know me you are intentionally misgendering me. It is a big deal. And also it was a huge deal that London was on the show and they were being who they were and they were having the other contestants use their pronouns. Well, some of them were using them. <laughs> Read the book, read the book, okay? So if you are interested in all things cooking, all things baking, all things love stories, right? I love to read about flirting, it's just so cute. You should pick this up, okay? The title, I mean, I know if I talked to Anita, she'd be like, oh, there were eight other titles. This is the one the publisher went with. But I loved it. I loved it, okay? So, and if you enjoy reading romantic or dating or flirting books, you should check out this book review here, which is all about one true loves. Yes, plural. What happens when you have the love of your life multiple times? All right, I'll see you in the next video.